so the lights go down and you're plunged into this absolute blackout and the light comes up and the, all that is lit is this tiny mouth on stage and the words are coming out kind of a hundred, you know, nineteen a dozen like this, like this. Unless of course she was meant to be suffering, ha, thought to be suffering, just as the odd time in her life when clearly intended to be having pleasure, she was in fact having none, not the slightest, in which case of course that notion of punishment for some sin or other after the lot. In Not I, of course, I'm, I've got black makeup um, from here down to here, a pair of uh, um, a blindfold on and a pair of tights over my head. And um, I am fastened into a headboard, which is um, eight foot above the stage. Um, so my head is in a head harness and my arms are in brackets. And uh, I, I go like the clappers for about um, eight or nine minutes. And then I'm released and I run around the back of the stage and try and scrape the black makeup off my face and then turn from black into white into this ghostly character of May. And the next piece, Footfalls, is um, about a woman who is caught um, in a relationship with her mother. And then the third play, Rockabye, is an old woman who's sitting by a window um, facing death or preparing for death. And the only comfort that she has is from the movement of her rocking chair until she dies. She stopped. Time oh, she stopped. Going to and fro. As time goes by, it looks more and more as if Beckett was the most important theatre writer of the 20th century. He's, his influence is absolutely incalculable. And as he continued his career, he compressed and compressed and compressed. He abstracted, he took away everything you can take away from a play and left the essence, if you like, a sort of dramatic essence. His plays became shorter and shorter and Beckett as an artist um, cut down, cut down as any good artist does, any sculptor and so on and so on does that. Art is reduction is a common saying and Beckett did that to an extreme and uh, uh, that is for me very exciting to, to work with these plays because they are so subtle and they are especially so Poetic. His writing is so lean and precise, all the fat has pared away, and it's just left with the true essence of what he wants to say. And that to me is just so gripping and brave and compelling that I always return to it. More than anything else I have ever, ever programmed, I just want people to leave their television sets and come and see it and experience it and it's 55 minutes out of your entire life and you will never, ever forget it.